Welcome back everyone, and I am so excited to be filming this video because technically I've already unboxed everything in these boxes, however I am going to be showing y'all what I got, uh, one of which is a package from Right Stuff Anime, and the other is a package from CD Japan, which I've never bought from personally, or at least I don't think I have. As I said, I've already opened the boxes, just had to make sure everything arrived uh, in good condition. So I'm going to start with the Right Stuff box, and you can already see the first thing on top. I didn't order much, it was just three three items that I'd been waiting on to release, and they finally shipped them out to me. I do apologize for how scratched up my table is now, um, but the, he, here are the three things that I ordered from Right Stuff Anime, and I actually have a few things still needing to be released that will be on the way once they do. So I'll start with the first one. Here is Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie, and I bought this in particular because it came with a lenticular cover. Now I am a little disappointed that, I don't know if you can tell, but the lenticular cover is literally just glued to the cardboard cover. I mean, what's the point then? <laughs> it is cool though. Um, I don't think it really adds anything. All it does is just move to one side. If it, you know, changed their poses or changed the design, it would be a lot cooler. So to me, this was minimum effort for right stuff, it seems. Um, and the fact that, you know, this feature made this copy more expensive, whereas I could definitely get this at Walmart for like 20 bucks after it releases. Probably cheaper. Walmart has been stocking a lot of anime, and I've noticed that. Um, usually I try to buy all my movies from right stuff just because it tends to be cheaper and you know they release it right away but i think in the future i'm probably just gonna wait till it's at walmart because i think i bought bell for full price from right stuff and the last time i was there it was like 14 dollars, which is a lot cheaper than buying it from right stuff but here is the inside of the case There we go, I think that angle's a little better. But here's the front of the case, and then the back, and then the inside, which I do like the art on the discs. Really love it. There's the cute little Yuta, and all the discs are nice and clear. And it does have another image on the other side, so let me pull that out. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. I might just flip the cover so it shows that instead. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because that's super cool and I love it. So yeah, if you're interested in this film, definitely uh, recommend buying it on Blu-ray. However, I don't think you need to go for the lenticular cover. It's really not necessary, not even all that special. Um, when it was advertised, I assumed it was going to be a new image or something on it, but if it's just the slight movement like that, especially with it just being glued to the paper cover, I think that's a little, a little dumb and not worth the money. But there's that. Then I also purchased, this is Natsume's Book of Friends, the movie, Ethereal Bond. I have been wanting to purchase this for so long and I never did because for a movie this is expensive i think this was 50 dollars or 40 and i decided to get it on sale if you could even call it that um so i paid 30 for this so here's what it looks like i love the cover i love natsume and this is by anaplex which is why it's so expensive anaplex just bumps up the prices of all their anime to the point where it more or less is similar to Japan prices. Um, if you weren't aware, Japan, buying anime in Japan is expensive. It's way more expensive than it is in the U.S. The U.S. companies, uh, for the most part, I think because they didn't necessarily create the product, they didn't pay to have it created, they're just paying the license fee. So it comes out to a lot cheaper for us to get full series of anime compared to Japan. Um, but Anaplex, because they are a Japanese company, they more or less keep the Japanese prices. I've heard it's so bad that even Japanese fans will buy the um, the Western release of certain anime because it's just a lot cheaper for them, which is really sad. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at little Nyanko, Sen Nyanko Sensei. Oh, that's so cute. I love this too. 
Oh my goodness. I'm going to flip that as well. That's going to be the cover. And this is neat. It actually comes with something. I didn't know that. This looks like a sticker. Um, so this is a nice surprise that this actually comes with a sticker. This is Nanko Sensei. It's a glossy sticker, so it's not something that I would definitely put on my uh, water cup or anything, but definitely maybe on my laptop. Then we have this postcard. It's not as thick as a postcard, so it's probably more of an art card. And then, oh, that's great. We have that piece of artwork, this one, and this one from the mangaka. I love that. I didn't know it was going to come with art. So that makes me really happy, actually. Natsumi's Book of Friends is definitely a series I would highly recommend. Um, it's definitely well known, I think, within the anime sphere. However, its hype has been dying down because there hasn't been a new season releasing. Um, the manga is still going, though, and from what I heard, it's, it's really good still. Um, I haven't really picked it up since the last volume I read um, because I was primarily getting my copies um, to read from the library, and I just haven't visited very recently, so definitely going to look into getting back into it because it's a long series but it's so nice quick summary for y'all if you've never heard of it Jujutsu Kaisen this is the prequel to the main series actually so if you've heard of Jujutsu Kaisen this you could go ahead and watch this without having to watch the full series um but this is about demon hunting um and this particular gentleman here at the bottom called Yuta who has an extraordinary connection with one of them um due to reasons which is spoilery and then Natsume's Book of Friends is about uh, Natsume, whose grandmother kept a book with the names of various different yokai, because seeing them um, runs in their family, so he uses the book to give the names back to certain yokai, but that that puts him in a certain spot because having the names makes him powerful, so sometimes other yokai are hunting him for it, or some of the yokai are not as friendly, or other humans who can see the yokai um, may want it for their purposes, but it's a very nice series. Um, and then finally, I am so excited to be holding this. It's very thick too, which I'm happy about. So this is volume one of Welcome to Demon School Iruma-kun. If you've been watching my videos for a bit, you may know that I have been waiting for this for years. I started reading this manga a couple years back and then I forgot why I stopped. I think it's because a lot of the manga sites that I used to read has really obnoxious ads and often enough it's it makes it way too tedious to read on a mobile phone so I just end up stopping. But shortly after I began reading this, I think a year into it, maybe a couple months, I learned that there was going to be an anime released of it um, which worked out. So I ended up just watching the anime and then I, I ended up reading the manga again and I love it. I love the manga and its style. It's very retro in the sense that it reminds me a lot of early 2000s manga. This is by Osamu Nishi and it's about the boy that gets adopted to be the grandson of a demon because his parents are terrible. Um, so if you've ever watched Hayato the Combat Butler, I think. I've never personally watched it, but I know that a lot of people make that comparison because the beginning of the plot is similar where he's kind of sold off by his parents, terrible parents, to do the bidding of somebody else. Um, so this is similar in that sense that he gets sold off by his parents, but the person he gets sold off to is a lot better. And I love it. I love those early color pages. So it looks like this. Oh, there's comics in the back. Yes. Excellent. The devil's in the details of each chapter. That's so cute. Just look at him. Okay, so this ends towards the beginning, but it's close to the end of the first season, I think. Or maybe like halfway through. I can't remember where the first season ends, because the first season was the longest one. It's 24 episodes or so. 26, I think. Um, but yeah, so excited to have this. I've already pre-ordered volume two. I'm definitely pre-ordering volume three. I'm going to start my collection of Welcome to Demon School Iruma-kun. So excited. Would highly recommend this series. And now we get to the meat of this video. I purchased a figure. I pre-ordered it last year, sometime last year, that I'm so excited for. I purchased this from CD Japan, who packed it and shipped it fairly quickly um, via EMS. 
I had initially selected a different option that was cheaper, but from what it sounds like, Japan is still recovering their shipping options, so a lot of them you'll have to wait weeks if not months for, for your package to have space available to put on either a boat or an airplane through the cheaper options. So EMS is a priority option. The previous package I received with the shoes um, from Mela Classic were DHL, so those came to me quite quickly. Um, they packed this very similarly to Amiyami. The box is a similar thickness. They bubble wrap the figure itself and then they put paper around it. And I'm not complaining because this figure is too gorgeous to damage due to something arbitrary like shipping. But here it is. You can kind of tell what it is already if you're familiar with some of the anime figures out there. And you may see it's a little um, ugly looking. And that is because I had already taken it out of the bubble wrap, wrap um, to show my siblings when it arrived because they were curious. But... This is the figure that I purchased. I'm so excited. Um, this is the Cock Cholera by Dano. Hatsune Miku figure. She has a different name, probably to differentiate her from being Hatsune Miku, because obviously copyright, but that's more or less what she's based on. We can, we can all pretty much tell that's what she's based on. And these figures are featured in a music video that I remember watching a long time ago, and I don't remember the name of it, but here's the information. Here's the side of the box. It's so glossy. And she's gorgeously displayed on the side. So this is a box that I feel like you could definitely dis um, display on a shelf or something, and it would look cool. And then the review. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. There she is. Oh my god, that plastic smell is strong. Um, let me carefully try and pull it. Oh yeah, she's really light. And then this box is gonna probably going to storage for me. I recently got some plastic containers, so I'm gonna move all of my figure boxes to a shed outside and make sure to cover it with plastic so it doesn't get wet anytime. So there is some tape on the sides. I'm going to try and be careful because it has a bag right there. Ah! I can't describe how strong that plastic smell is. Um, but here's the figure. Oh my gosh! <gasps> she is so gorgeous. Okay. So here's what she looks like. Again, she's very light. Definitely would not recommend holding her from her pigtails, obviously. Um, I did not realize these were features for some reason. They're, the product picture just wasn't accurate. Obviously, she's not wearing underwear, so this might have to have a not safe for work uh, tag on it. But look at the glossiness of her skirt. I love it. There's some slight scuffing in the back. But there's that design. She's got a tattoo. Not sure what it says. But she's got rings. Her nails are painted. Oh my gosh. I might make a full review out of her. I don't know. The anime figure reviews are very time consuming for me, so I kind of stopped doing them. Because unless the figure was absolutely amazing and I had something to say, they weren't fun to do. Um, but if y'all are interested, I definitely wouldn't mind doing one for her. But she's got so much detail going on, it's really impressive. And design-wise, I really like her design. I think they did a great job, this artist. Can y'all see? Like, look at all of that. And then her face is gorgeous. It's just really blinded by this light right now. I wonder if it would... There we go, kind of. I love her look. Wow, her eyes are metallic. They're gorgeous. I love the thin strip of pink on her lips as well. She's even wearing earrings and there's this 
small plastic piece. <gasps> She's got an actual necklace. What? I'm blown away right now. I was so excited for this figure and I'm glad my expectations were met and also exceeded because she has a little dangly skull necklace right here. And then I really love this detail. I kind of wish they were filled with something red to kind of give a pop of color that her headpiece is giving because below her neck she really doesn't have any of that pink or magenta color. So I kind of wish these were filled with something. But again, immaculate detail. Again, her fingernails are painted and then she has a very thin ring right there. So beautiful. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, definitely be careful with these. They're very light. I just tapped it a little bit and it wiggled. Um, so I felt more or less what they're made out of. They're not made out of a very uh, heavy material or anything like resin, I think. It's very, very thin plastic. So yeah, I think this one's slightly crooked and it might bug me, but I'm not going to mess with it. And then here's her shoes. Amazing. There's not much going on at the bottom, but they're painted with this uh, speckling texture that looks really cool. And then her stockings are metallic. Not metallic. Um, they're kind of like faux leather glossiness, but it, they were airbrushed um, with shading, which is really cool. And then the inside of her skirt obviously is awesome as well. So let me... Where's her base? There's licensing under her base, and her base is really the only thing I, I'm not really a fan of, just because it's very long. I don't mind the shape at all, but it's so long, you really need to have a thick shelf for her, and it's going to take up a lot of space. So I'm going to consider maybe making her a custom one, um, and if I can, probably put her on that one instead, and cause, because... I really don't have any more space on my big anime scale shelf. So even though I knew I would purchase her and I knew I was going to have to move that shelf around and how I display things in my shelf overall, I knew I was going to have to move around. Um, but this is a big change <laughs> and I can't put her on any of the risers because she's already really tall. Um, but let me go ahead and put her in this. So... Oh, wow, that's a weird setup. Well, that, that might work. That might work. So you face this the other way. It's not... The pointy part doesn't face forward. It faces the back, which is interesting. Excellent. So she goes on there fairly well. Oh my god, she is gorgeous. So there she is out of the box and... <laughs> out of the box, I mean. And she is magnificent. Just look at her. And her terrible base but overall i really love her i can't believe i finally got my hands on her this is a figure that has existed for years it's just that um it's something that was created by an independent artist and i think they had to kind of have a company be on board to custom make make her in large quantities but she was popular enough that she got a re-release and i think this is the third re-release i could be wrong though i'll leave a link to her my figure collection page because that's really all the info that you need to know about her um she is actually available in Yahoo Auctions. I I prefer not to go through Yahoo Auctions, so that's kind of why I just never bought her, because she's fairly cheap on there. I think the last listing I saw, uh, it was still bidding, it was still active, but it was only at $80. So you could definitely snag her for a lot cheaper than what I paid, which is about $150. I'll put the actual amount somewhere on the screen, but she is popular, so after the pre-order was over, she sold out. I don't know if she's still available. She was on Amiyami, CD Japan, and various other sites, though, so you could probably still definitely find her for a decent price. There is another version of her with red pigtails and a sailor uniform, and I was debating on which one I wanted, but I decided that I definitely wanted her over the sailor uniform one. Um, I just like the colors on this one more. I like the outfit a lot more. And I do not regret getting her one bit. She is amazing. Because she's been around for a while, there's probably a lot of reviews out there for her. So that's kind of why I decided I wasn't going to do one. But if y'all are interested, 
I could, I feel like I could definitely do one for hers. There's a lot to talk about with her, um, in detail. The only issue I can see having is that her, her skin is fairly pale, but it's more yellow toned in person. I think my camera is showing it fairly white, <laughs> uh, but I promise y'all she has skin tone. It's just pale and the ring light intensity is making it look very white. And yeah, I just think she's amazing. I mean, look at all that detail. The bracelet I didn't even notice earlier, but it's it's amazing. It's got some texturing and to make it look like metal. It's just so incredibly well done. I'm just blown away. This reminds me of that. Um, I think the only other figure that had this amount of different detail for different features of the figure, but it's been a, a couple of years, but I think it was an ensembles, ensemble stars figure um, that had just a lot going on with it. And this is reminding me of that figure because there's just so much going on, different paint textures, different paint uses um, for all the props, just outstanding. And that's pretty much it for my anime haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will make sure to leave links to all of these products in the description. I'm not sure if Miku's still available. I haven't checked, but I'm sure she'll be easy to find. She was very popular, so I'm sure if she doesn't get another re-release, right now is the time to purchase her because she will be a very good price. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.